our previous video, we discussed how we analyze a continuous beam by using the moment distribution method. Basically, you have to assume different type of load arrangement. Go through uh, calculations for the moment distributions. Determine the reactions. Draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. You will get four set of bending moment diagram and four set of shear force diagram. And lastly, you merge the shear force and bending moment diagram into an envelope shear force and bending moment diagram. Then you obtain the most critical load for the moment and shear. This calculation step is relatively tedious and lengthy. If you are doing the analysis by using manual calculations, it will consume you a long time for you to complete one continuous member. For a typical reinforced concrete structures, there will be a lot of continuous member. This has made it nearly impractical to do the manual calculations by using the moment distributions method to design for the entire structures. You can imagine the amount of load. Let's say for a member have the continuous beam with more than three span and you have so many continuous beam in a reinforced concrete structure, the amount of work that you have to do is beyond your imaginations. Luckily, we have some guide from Eurocode. BS8110 This method is relatively easy and then going through that tedious calculation steps. However, this method is actually meant for uniformly distributed continuous member with an approximate equal span. The calculated moment and shear loads are normally slightly more conservative than that you obtain from the moment distributions method. But this is okay because our major concern is the safety of the structures. The safety of the structures is the ultimate concern. The economical solutions will be the added value to the design. The recommended design moment and shares are given in the table 3.5 in BS8110. There are several terminologies here. This represents the outer support which is here. The near middle of end span, it will be here. The first interior support, it will be here. The middle interior span, it will be here. And the interior support, it will be here. Assuming that the continuous member is a mirror of this. The design moment and shares are given in the function of F and L. The L represents the effective span of the members and the F represents the design ultimate load. BS8110 use the design ultimate load factor to be 1.4 GK and 1.6 QK. Since now we are shifting towards the Eurocode, the factor here should be used as 1.35 and here to be used as 1.5. The negative sign here is representing the negative moment at the support. 
By using this table, we can quickly determine the most critical moment and the most critical shear acting along the continuous span. This is also regardless the number of span throughout the continuous beam. However, bear in mind that this table is applicable under the conditions where the QK is less than GK, the load are uniformly distributed for at least three continuous span, and the maximum differences between the longer span and the shorter span should be within 15% of the longest span. If the continuous beam does not fulfill these requirements, theoretically this table is not applicable.